Welcome to Arcpoint, my name is Marcus. Today we're going to be transferring a player from one scene to another scene. So first we're going to be creating an additional scene, then creating a script to transfer that player to that new scene. Let's get started. First off, you're going to want to find the Scene tab. If you don't have one, go to Window and then press Scene. On the Scene tab, you'll see that we already have a scene called Main Scene. Now that one comes default with any core project. Since we want another one, we're going to press Create New Scene, and at, that is at the uh, bottom of the Scene tab. Then we're going to name the scene, and then we're going to load the scene. Now we have our new scene. If you want to go back to the other one, go to More Options next to the scene, and click Load Scene. Now we're going to be making a script to teleport the player to the new scene when they interact with a trigger. So first, creating a new script. Go to the Create Script button on the top of the bar and click Open Script Generator. Now we're going to select Event Trigger Overlap, and we can remove Begin and End Overlap because we just want the player to interact directly by pressing a button when they're inside the trigger, not when they overlap or end overlap. Name the script, close the generator, and open up the newly created script. Now, inside the code, we're going to insert this code, which will be in the description below, and we're going to place it inside the interaction event. So to explain, other is the player interacting with the trigger, transfer to scene is the function from the API that we're doing, scene name is where you put the name of the scene that you want to transfer to, and spawn key is the manually given ID of the spawner you want the player to spawn at when in the new scene that you're transferring them to. So, so to explain spawn key, let's go to the new scene and select a spawner. On the selected spawner, you'll be able to see the properties and there is a field for key. This is the unique ID using letters, numbers, and anything in between. So for my spawner, I'm going to give it the ID of potato with a capital P. I'm going to save the scene, then go back to the code, and place potato with a capital P as the spawn key. Hello, post edit Marcus here, reminding you to like and subscribe, <laughs> just kidding. Reminding you to change the scene name section to the name of the new scene you want to transfer to. Capital letters and everything. And that is the code done. Control S save and head back to core. Now we're going to add a trigger and cube from core content. Uh, the cube is so that we know where the trigger is. And we are going to ensure interact is enabled on the trigger and has a label when prompted. Now attach our script underneath the trigger and we're good to publish. When publishing, make sure you go to Scenes and that your new scene is ticked so it is included in the publish. Fill out all the other required doodads. And done! Transition! Now we are in our live project. This is our trigger. Press on it. And... Loading screen. Because different scenes are different servers. So for all intents and purposes, a new scene might very well be an entirely different game. And now we are in our other scene. Presto! And there we go. Hopefully you found the video helpful. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you did. And I shall catch you in the next video. Arc point out.